Hello guys, welcome to the WTV show. Today we have Mr. Sasha as our interviewer, interviewee. Hello Mr. Sasha. Nice to meet you, how are you? So I'm here to ask you some questions. So, we'll, so we should begin. The first question is, how do you respond to students sleeping in your class? Give an example of what you have done when you found one. Well then, uh, it's depends, man. People are. It depends on uh, the situation, on the time, and the place. To be honest, some people work super late. Some people. I mean, what time do you go to bed at every night? Around midnight. Around midnight. So if you show up to the class and you're gonna fall asleep, sometimes it's best to give you five, ten minutes sleep and then wake up. Other times it's just not appropriate. Like during an exam, and you just wake the kid up. So it depends on the situation. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, I guess. Sure. So the next question is, do you think your teaching style differentiates from other teachers? If yes, please explain how. I don't know if it differentiates from other teachers, but uh, I think all teachers just have a style of their own. And so to compare them, I mean, Can you different. kind of explain what's your style like? I just try to have a, a, a relaxed class, a fun class, a class where uh, there's no drama, no stress. Hopefully, those who have taken my class don't feel too stressed in it. Uh, I let people return things, we can rewrite exams, we can do all that stuff. But the end goal, I guess, is success. As weird as it sounds, if you get a C plus and that's success for you, that's perfect for me. If you get an A minus and that's success, great. So just. I see. Yeah. Relax is good. I think so. Yeah. I don't like to stress. So. <laughs> okay, so next question is. Uh, in what ways have TCS improved in the year you have been here? Uh, well, I think it's improved quite a bit actually. There's a lot of, physically the school is nice now. I mean there's a cover over the lower school playground. Uh, there's been upgrades to the buildings which are very nice. New, new soccer nets which are, or football nets which are good. You like the changes? Yeah, yeah. Physically the changes and it's hard when you're at international school and a lot of people, staff and students kind of come in and out. So. I find, it, uh, I find it hard to make friends and then they see them leave, but oh. that's the nature of the game, right? So, yeah. And students too, it's never fun to see good students leave, but it is fun when bad students leave. So, <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so next is, uh, for, the, for the Thursday morning assemblies mm -hmm. this year, what yes. was your most memorable experience? I enjoyed greatly the company I had at the very back of the uh, I always sat with uh, Miss Davini and there was Miss Jacoba and all these people are up there and we just... I like the guitar performances as well, very much so. I thought Mr. J did a great job and all the, and all the performers did a great job. So. Did you see my performance? Probably, yes. Okay. Probably, I guess. I'm sure I did. Uh, okay. yeah. It was good. I, yeah, they're fun. So next is mm -hmm. uh, about the usage of cell phones at school. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is a good idea or not? Why? It's time and a place for everything, I guess. Sometimes, I mean, the problem is not the access to cell phones and having cell phones. It's what the students do with the cell phones. That's the issue. I mean, if people actually focused and did the work, but I mean, people being on nine gag and <laughs> where's, where's Annie? Where's she? Uh, nine gag, doing everything else, worrying about prom dresses and all that kind of stuff and they should be focused on school stuff. But so you are phones are good. saying uh, it depends on the people. Cell phones can be good and bad, depending on just how like, you use it. Just like any technology, yeah, for sure, of course it can be. But I mean, it's also a part of school is to teach people social roles and what's acceptable and what's not. So it's hard to monitor it, but all in all, it's if I had a choice, I would say no cell phones, but you could have your computers. Okay, but I see. It's not my choice. So, okay. so Mr. Sasha, yes. if you were stuck teaching one subject for the rest of your teaching career, mm -hmm. what would it be and why? I would like to teach uh, like the social studies, history, geography. If there was a class that had history, geography, a little bit of sociology in there. What if you can them. only choose one from the social studies? History. 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 That's your favorite one. Yeah, well, if I had to choose one, yeah, you're <laughs> forcing me, yeah. I'd like to teach history from the Renaissance to today. That's okay. what I want to teach. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Sasha, have you ever found a student cheating in your exam? And how did you react to it? How did, 
<laughs> uh, yeah, kids cheat all the time, for sure. Um, and once again, you react depending on the situation and what it is. Um, I don't really want to make a big deal during the exam because that distracts a lot of other people that are around. So if I do deal with it, it's dealt with a one-on-one -on -one and yeah, that's the way okay, it goes. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Saja, what is your most memorable moment in this school year? This right here? Oh. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. And uh, last question, Mr. Sasha. I thought you said that was the last question during the pre-interview. You said that was the last question. I knew what there was a trick. Don't lie. It's a trick. What do you think about being mm. the most handsome teacher? You said the same thing, Ms. Jacobra, and all these <laughs> things. No, no, no. Not falling for it. <laughs> so do you think you are the most handsome? Not falling for it. I'm not biting. <laughs> you lied to me. You said that the last question was the last question. I knew there was one more in there. Okay, I guess that's enough for today. Yeah, that's right. That's enough for today. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Sasha. Thank you very much. I knew there was a trick. Uh.